Hello everyone. Let us see what is otomycosis. Otomycosis is fungal infection of the ear. The ear is an integral part of the human body. It deals with the sense of hearing. It is a small organ but very susceptible to common infections. The commonest infection is the fungal infection of the ear. Let us now see why one gets fungal infection of the ear. The common causes are injury by ear, bud or a finger or even a pin. When one is usually taking a bath and after having done so, one gets tempted to introduce an earbud. This by far is a very common habit just to clear up the excess water or just as a habit of cleaning the ear or putting a finger inside the ear or even a pin. Well, this causes an injury and then the ear becomes susceptible to the fungal infection. Swimming can be in a swimming tank and then also you have the number four contaminated water entering the ear. The two go hand in hand. Of course, contaminated water will cause otomycosis and the vicious cycle of while well, after swimming you again introduce an ear but in, uh, inside the ear. Diabetes mellitus as such does not cause otomycosis but all diabetics are usually susceptible to common infections especially those of the ear and of course other parts of the body too. This usually happens when the sugar is not under control. So diabetics need to remember that their sugar has to be under control. Symptoms Itching is by far the most commonest symptom. One gets tempted again to introduce an earbud or a finger or even a pin inside the ear. Fullness in the ear goes hand in hand with decreased hearing. One can complain and say yes there is the ear appears to be full and say in the same breath yes there is some amount of decreased hearing also. Pain is dependent uh, on the person itself very subjective and it can be mild, moderate and severe. Ear discharges per se can be black, grey, yellow, green in color and white also. And uh, once the ear gets filled with this ear discharge, then the symptoms of pain and fullness and decreased hearing are appreciated. Now the picture that you are seeing here is the ear discharge is of black and gray in color and you can see that the ear is full and because of which this particular person may complain of fullness in the ear and also maybe decrease hearing in the ear also. It may be associated with pain and itching too. Now as we zoom up the images it's very clear uh, as you can see the ear is full of this debris. After treatment, this is what the ear will look like. You can see in the center, there is the ear canal and straight into the central part, the deepest uh, area is a small grayish area. In this image, you can see, this is a zoomed up image and you can see the grayish area, which is nothing but the eardrum. The outside pinkish area is the ear canal. That is the usual area wherein we use, we put uh, ear bud or a finger and it all leads finally to otomycosis. This particular image you can see the eardrum very clearly and uh, absolutely there is no debris which is seen whatsoever. The treatment part is of course you need to consult your doctor. The treatment consists of gentle ear cleaning. You should not again use an ear bud but just try to use a clean cotton, make a wick and gently clean your ear. There are antifungal ear drops and of course anti-inflammatory drugs for the pain. Uh, one should not go to the local chemist without consulting a doctor and buy an ear drop and just use it hoping that the infection will go away it's very less likely that the infection will go away without actually making a proper diagnosis. One also needs to consult your doctor for the pain 
and you need anti-inflammatory drugs depending upon how severe your pain is so mind you do take care do not introduce anything inside the ear not an ear but by far the most commonest item that is available properly in every household so do take care of your ear and do subscribe to my channel leave a like hit the bell icon and watch for more videos